John Candy's character in the movie Planes, Trains, and Automobiles was a shower curtain ring salesman. Now, I have no idea if that was a real thing in the 80s or not, but it is the perfect inspiration for this Thanksgiving craft project. I am taking these cheapo shower curtain rings and turning them into napkin rings for your holiday table. Gobble gobble, girl. I knew that John Hughes wrote and directed Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, but I just read that this movie was like his branching out from those teen movies that he's so famous for, like The Breakfast Club and Sixteen Candles. So this was a grown-up movie for Hughes. It was also a Thanksgiving movie and an 80s movie, which makes it the perfect combination for my kind of craft. Our DIY napkin rings start with shower curtain rings, and this first version is about as simple as it gets. All you need is the shower curtain ring and some yarn. I usually snip off about two feet. You might need more, but you can always add it later. Then secure it off at the top with a nice good knot, and then just loop it around your ring. It is really that simple. Now the trick is to pull very tightly between each loop so that you get good coverage and that the yarn doesn't want to move around anywhere. So when you get to the clasp, just keep winding more yarn around the area until it's the same thickness as the rest of the ring. Knot that baby off and boom, napkin ring. Just trim away any of the extra string. Now what I really love about this project is that it's simple enough that you can get the kids involved, no glue, no mess. It's also mindless enough that you can kind of plop down on the sofa, pop in a Real Housewives and bring out three or four of these in an hour. Really simple. And you don't have to use yarn either. Garden twine would look really nice, so would raffia. Anything that you happen to have on hand would work. Now, for this second napkin ring, you are gonna need to break out the glue gun. And you know those pretty ribbons that you picked up on sale or the ones that you get on fancy presents and they're so nice you just can't throw them away? Well, good for you because we are about to put that ribbon to good use. Now, the width of most shower curtain rings is about a quarter of an inch, so this works out perfectly. Now, if you don't happen to have a quarter of an inch ribbon, just take whatever you do have and cut it down to size. This is a very forgiving project if you haven't noticed already. So to get the length, you just kind of hold up your ribbon against the ring, you know, Move it around like that, and then we're just gonna snip it. Like I said earlier, John Candy's character was a shower curtain ring salesman in the movie. Now, we might have needed those in 1987, but we certainly don't need them now because these shower curtain rings are just about everywhere, and they're super cheap. But I don't want you to go out and buy them, and here's the reason. I love doing, you know, 80s vibes with all my crafts, but the priority is really to be green. So if you don't have any of these shower curtain rings hiding under your bathroom sink, ask around. I bet you've got some friends who have some. You do not want to buy these rings. We're trying to upcycle and give new life to something that we found laying around. So I'm not slathering the ring with hot glue and I'm not looping the ribbon either. I just add a little dab of glue to the ring, pull the ribbon over top of that, smooth out the area with my finger, and then continue that process on down to the end of the ring. Now you don't wanna to add too much glue because if you add too much glue, that's gonna make your ring all lumpy and bumpy and we don't want that. We want this to look nice for our Thanksgiving table. So see? Not too bad for all of like two minutes of work. Oh, if you don't like the color of your rings, a few spritzes of spray paint will fix you right up. Okay, this third and final napkin ring is my absolute favorite because it's totally retro. However, it is so simple, I'm not going to justify it with a tutorial. So just watch. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles came out at Thanksgiving 1987, and I promise it still holds up today. And I hope your Thanksgiving turns out the way John Candy and Steve Martins did. And if you don't know what that ending is, then you've got to pop in the movie after your Thanksgiving dinner. And trust me, you will look super clever with the whole shower curtain ring tie-in thing. Okay, before you rush off to make your own napkin rings, show me some Thanksgiving love and subscribe to my channel. I've got plenty of cool vegan recipe ideas and eco-craft ideas too, all with an 80s vibe. Okay, go and have some tofurkey and have a very happy Thanksgiving.